Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we are making a twist on classic corn casserole. You know, we're making a series here of great holiday side dishes, things that are pretty quick and easy and delicious. So for all your holiday side ideas, dinner parties, holiday par uh, parties, we have a bunch of them here. But today we are making this cheesy corn casserole. You know, I know the classic one is the the corn muffin mix that you mix with the cream corn and the canned corn. But today we're not gonna do that. Today we are using just frozen corn. Now, of course, you can use fresh if you ha have it, but we're using just frozen corn that's been thawed. And in the, the mixer here, I have half of, I'm using white and yellow corn, it's just for fun. And I put half a bag of each in the Cuisinart with about a half a cup of um, green onions, just the white parts. So I'm going to give that a pulse. I've pulsed it a little bit before you got here. So it is ready to go here. So that is our first step on, on, on our corn. For the dry ingredients, I have half a cup of flour and half a cup of cornmeal. And then I'm going to put uh, two teaspoons of baking powder in. So there's one. And then there's two. And we're gonna do about a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna do a couple grinds of salt here. And then a little bit of black pepper. A couple grinds of pepper. And then I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper for a little bit of a kick. Just a little bit, a pinch. I'm gonna put in here a pinch of cayenne. So get a little pinch going here, probably more than a pinch. There you go, a little pinch of cayenne. I'm gonna mix that together. Sit. Here we go. And we'll mix that together. Make sure our baking powder gets all mixed in. Cornmeal, flour, baking powder, good to go here. And now I'm going to um, stir our pureed corn into the mix here. Let's look how that turned out. Just a few pulses and it made like corn hash here, but it smells so good with the green onions and the corn, yum. So we're gonna put that in. Yum, get that out of the way. And then to that, let's mix that in a little bit. Cover our corn. Okay, now we are going to do the sour cream. So I have about a cup of sour cream going in. Yum. And then I have two eggs here that have already been beaten. Two eggs. And about half a stick of melted butter. Because you know, what's not good with a little melted bu uh, butter? So I'm gonna start mixing that. And then we are going to add the rest of the corn. So I get that mixed up a little bit. Oh my gosh, this smells delicious. Ground up the onions so we got a really yummy smell here on the green onions. And then I'm gonna put the rest of the corn. So I just used a bag of yellow and a bag of white corn. Really just for fun, you can use whatever you have. But that's what I did and it's thawed. Oh my gosh, yum! And then I mix that in. And then I have some Jack cheese. And I have it two ways, just for some little added surprises in our corn casserole here. We are gonna use some chunks of Monterey Jack cheese so that when you bite into this, it's gonna be some surprises of ooey gooey chunky cheese. Yum. And then I have about a half, I mean about a quarter cup of Parmesan, of course. We always freshly grate our Parmesan around here. And then we're gonna use, again, about a quarter cup or so of Jack shredded and the Jack cubed Jack cheese and stir all that in. Oh, yum. Whoops, my little chunks are getting away. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Cause you know, who doesn't love corn casserole? I mean, every holiday, it's not complete without corn casserole, right? Well, this is just a new twist on the classic. Throw that back, back in, make sure I got everything in here. 
and Parmesan eggs, we do. Butter, corn, got it all. Okay, we are ready to go here. Now I have greased an aluminum pan because I'm actually gonna freeze this because I don't need it anytime soon. I'm gonna save it for a holiday meal or a dinner party meal so I have it re uh, re ready to go in the freezer because I love having things you can quickly pull out that are just delicious. So I'm gonna see if I need two pans here, but I'm gonna start with one and put it in the pan. Now this would easily fill a nine by 13 pan. Whoops, getting away around here. But I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make two of these because I think it's gonna be plenty. And I can always give one away too. Somebody need to bring a side dish to someone or bring something to a potluck. I will have two ready to go here. Let's see. Let's get this one spread out. Oh my gosh. Yum. Put some in that one, some in that one. And there we go. Easy, easy, easy. And you know, it's got to be better than the canned corn because we basically made our own canned corn by using the Cuisinart and grinding up the first half of the corn. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Now you know why this is such a yummy staple because it's easy and delicious and inexpensive too. So to these, I am going to now top them. I'm gonna put jalapeno on just for an extra kick and a little bit of green. I'm gonna put a little jalapeno on top. Oh, this looks so good. Spread that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little more of a Parmesan on top, a little Parmesan on top of each one, and then a little bit more of the Jack cheese on top. Oh my gosh, yum, oh, these look yummy. What's a holiday without cream corn? Oh my gosh, yum, that's it, there we go. Cheesy, creamy corn casserole with a twist and quick and easy and not any cans involved. So thanks for watching. You're all for all your holiday sides. We have a ton of them here. So you know where to find them on Hostess Coach. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful holiday. Oh, by the way, don't forget, you're still gonna need to cook these. I'm gonna put mine in the freezer, but when you pull them out, you can let them come up to room te uh, temperature before you cook it or if not just extend your cooking time so these could go in the oven right now as they are 350 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour till they're nice and golden brown and, bu and bubbly or you can put them from the freezer right in you might need to add on some co cooking time till they're golden brown and bubbly but they're ready to go they're going to be delicious